Hello YouTube, uh, this is Ham Radio Reviews doing another video on the Baofeng DM5R DMR radio. Okay, uh, the first thing I would like to say is that uh, there has been a lot of uh, controversy regarding the specifications of this radio. Um, uh, it comes uh, from, uh, there are no official uh, specifications from uh, Baofeng yet, from the factor that makes it. Um, the only seller online that uh, sells this radio, the only retailer that sells this radio, states it is uh, tier 1 currently, DMR tier 1, and uh, they offer an upgrade uh, to so that you can upgrade it to tier 2. Now, some people have already upgraded it to tier 2, and uh, they found that uh, they, it does work uh, with other tier 2 radios on, simpl on Simplex, but there are still issues with uh, accessing repeaters. Uh, you cannot access uh, ham radio DMR repeaters with this radio. You can access them actually, but uh, it is not uh, TDMA. It, some people say it is FDMA, so you are co basically causing issues on the repeater that you are trying to access with it. Uh, therefore, I cannot at this point recommend buying this radio if you want to access ham radio DMR repeaters. However, I can recommend this radio if you only care about uh, simplex DMR communication. Uh, it's cheap, it is um, dual band, you can do DMR on both ba uh, 2 meters and 70 centimeters. Uh, there is a function for you to send or receive messages and um, it's... Um, uh, you have all the UV5R accessories already and things like that. Um, I, I believe that uh, accessing repeaters is uh, not the main, um, how should I say, should not be the main um, thing ham, uh, amateur radio operators uh, should care about. Of course, uh, everyone has its own, uh, their own opinion. Uh, my opinion is that um, I enjoy amateur uh, radio um, when I do, when I'm communicating uh, simplex. Uh, the repeaters are just a convenience uh, so that uh, I can communicate with my. Um, when I don't have access, I can communicate with my portable with uh, uh, another station which is uh, right behind the mountain or something like that. Uh, a lot of people are telling me that uh, it's not suitable for ham radio usage and things like that. It is suitable for ham radio usage. It is just not suitable for uh, ham radio DMR repeaters after you upgrade it. Uh, please let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, of course, uh, keep in mind that I don't, if uh, the retailer that sells it online has stated incorrect specifications, I do not agree with that, of course. The uh, retailer, when, when someone sells something, should always be accurate on the description of the product they sell. It should not be, uh, they should not just put in their things that, in the specifications that uh, people will just buy it based on those things. Uh, we should all, uh, sellers we should, should always be accurate on what they say. For this, I do not believe the unique, the, the single seller that sells it has been accurate because uh, it is also not tier 1. Uh, why? Because the specification for DMR tier 1 uh, clearly states that they are radios to be used on PMR446 frequencies here in Europe, in ERU Region 1 um, with a half a watt of power just like regular analog FM PMR446 radios this uh, does not output half a watt power although I haven't uh, done a power test yet maybe in the digital, uh, when I said the dig uh, digital modulation, a DMR modulation, it uh, automatically um, switches to half a watt, a watt. I don't know. But these are things to check. Anyway, 
I just wanted to clear these things uh, out right now. Um, uh, this video is not what uh, this is not what this I'm making this video for. I'm making this video to check on the compatibility uh, with this radio uh, before you do an upgrade, uh, as it is stated as tier one. Okay, uh, now it's turned on. I have programmed um, some frequencies here uh, uh, with uh, the programming software. Uh, you can program the radio with a regular Baofeng. Uh, USB cable like this. This is TYT, but it's the same thing. I'm I'm using this cable to program all my bow things, my analog bow things, and everything, and all my radios, almost all my radios, basically. Okay, here we go. Um, I have programmed uh, here. This is a digital. Uh, you, as you see, if you can see the D here, it means okay. It's focusing on the reflection. Uh, it means it's digital, uh, the bottom one is an analog channel. Okay, this is digital. Uh, I am going to test this radio with the help of another radio which is controversial. It has not been released yet, it has been released with another model, uh, with another name, uh, but with another brand basically. And that radio is the TYT. MD398. This is it. I'm preparing video reviews for this also. This is another controversial radio. Um, I have two of these. Um, subscribe to my channel to get notified when I have the videos ready for this. I have a bunch of videos for this also. Now, uh, what I want to do here, I have also programmed uh, the same channel, the same frequency in here, basically. Okay, if you see here now, uh, now I will key the bow fang. Don't sure what was it that it received. Here we go. Here it receives something. It shows the code of the group. It's a full call. Okay, but nothing comes out on this end. Here, let me uh, speak also on the radio. The Kimi, the Kimi, is video Rama my kilo, the Kimi. The Kimi, the Kimi, is video Rama my kilo, the Kimi. If you see it's receiving, but uh, nothing comes out of it. Uh, to make sure that uh, this radio actually receives, here's, uh, I'll test it with the other uh, I, uh, TYT I have. The Kimi, the Kimi. As video Rama my kilo, okay me. Okay, so it is. Uh, you can use it, and if we key this radio, this receives something, but nothing comes out. Okay me, okay me. As video Rama my kilo, okay me. Okay, it receives, but nothing comes out. So they're not compatible, basically. Uh, just to do a check. Here the simplex uh, V, I think it's uh, to check on the analog uh, part that this radio works, at least on the analog part. Here we go, the gimme, the gimme, the gimme, the gimme, it's video Roma my kilo, the gimme. Okay, that was the analog part. Let me, the volume was down a bit, let me do it once more with uh, the TYT. The Kimi, the Kimi, is the Rama my kilo, the Kimi. Nothing comes out on the bow thing. Okay, you already knew this, I believe. There have been a couple of videos online already uh, displaying this uh, incompatibility before you do the upgrade. This is not upgraded yet. I will upgrade it and do a video on it too, also. However, you can uh, send a message and this will receive it and display it. Let's try that right now. Let's go to the menu. You cannot type messages here, of course. There's no keypad for typing messages. You have to pre-program uh, the messages uh, to the radio through the programming software when you connect it to your PC. There are up to 16 slots for pre-programmed messages. Uh, you can check out my other video. I'll put a link in the description or maybe an annotation here. Um, 
or maybe a card here at the top right we'll see um, that is um, uh, you cannot have uh, spaces in the messages and uh, commas dashes and things like that that's very limiting but let's uh, do the experiment anyway okay here you go message inbox inbox I assume it's the message you receive of course let's go to outbox and you select from the message here one message is hello DMR the other message is message from DM5R here I couldn't even enter a dash and let's send this message okay again here let's go no here let's go to outbox select the message you want with the arrow now it's here you uh, it asks you to select the contact you want to send it to it's an all call contact the other contacts are some tests I was doing here all call Hit menu this came from this the sound came from this radio let's check this out okay there we go message received message rec hit the green there we go message from DM5 no last letter no not sure where the R went but it received the message now let's try sending a message from this radio there we go create message you can type on this one it has also has an autocorrect but uh, it's very basic and let's type this one the usual stuff hello now if I hit the green button it will ask me where to send it okay search linkman that's uh, basically means search uh, through your contacts not sure why it says this thing okay full call it's the same as all call on this one hit the green message send end this thing lit up like it received something no sound or anything there we go but uh, no message also if we go to inbox here menu no. all the slots for the inbox up to number 16 are empty nothing okay that's it so far for the compatibility of this radio before doing the upgrade I believe on my next video I will uh, show how to upgrade it and uh, tips or tricks uh, regarding that uh, the upgrade okay uh, thank you very much uh, for watching uh, like and share this video if you found it useful and subscribe to my channel for more ham radio reviews and updates on these two uh, radios 73 for now thanks for watching